And now guys, let's get started here. Uh, I have here the 10 inches by 12 inches uh, canvas. And also I have here the colors that I'm going to use this uh, entire tutorial. Uh, namely the titanium white, the cadmium yellow, the rushina or you can use the yellow ochre, the cadmium orange, this one is the crimson red, the cobalt blue, this one is the hooker green and this one is the black color. What I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to create here first the sky then this one is here the lower part is a water or, or lake. I'm going to create here a lake. I'm going to paint first here at the top portion of this canvas I'm going to paint first the white color or the titanium white. I'm going to make this uh, background wet. Just, I'm going to use this white color so that when I'm going to add color here it's very easy to blend because our background color is wet. There you go. I'm going to paint here the white color so that this background is wet. There you go. I'm using my two inch two inches flat brush. Then at the very lower part I'm going to paint also the white color. Don't worry about this uh, center because we're going to uh, make that uh, dry my canvas here is uh, wet the top portion is wet and the uh, lower part is wet also using this titanium white so the next thing to do here I'm going to create here the sky I'm going to use this cobalt blue there as you see, it's very easy to uh, blend the color because our background is wet. You can save more time for this uh, this sky because it's very easy to blend here. As you see, there you go. Just continue painting with this uh, cobalt blue. There you go. I'm using my two inch, two inches flat brush. This is the ordinary brush. You can buy this any uh, hardware or near to your area. You can uh, buy this one. There you go. This is my sky, basic sky. Very very clear day then I'm going to add a very very small amount of the hooker green to this uh, blue color I'm going to add here at the very top portion just add a very very small amount of hooker green to this cobalt blue I'm going to add also here at the corner to make this corner a little deep there you go. I'm going to add a little uh, green to this blue color and just add a very very small amount of crimson red. Just small amount of crimson red. There you go. This kind of color. Just add here at the, this corner and this also. This right corner, the very top portion. There you go. And this one also here. Just there. We're done this clear sky. Now, then at the lower part, we're going to paint also this the cobalt blue. This part here, we're going to create here the reflection of the sky at the very lower part of this canvas just paint also the uh, cobalt blue there you go and there you are that's nice I'm going to add also a tallow blue, this this one, this 
kind of blue. A tile blue, the difference between the cobalt blue and the tile blue, the cobalt blue is a little lighter than tile blue. So I'm going to use this tile blue. I think we're going to make this more deep color, deep this corner. I'm going to make this more deep. So I'm going to dark this a little, this left side corner. There you go, it's very good looking sky. And also here, just paint directly the uh, the Kubo Talu Blue here. Just paint directly here the Talu Blue at this corner, the right corner, and just blend. I'm going to blend also. There you go, it's very nice sky. There you go. I'm going to paint more blue coat just blend this color uh, so that you can get the exact deep of the sky there you go and there at the lower part also I'm going to paint also this at the lower part I'm going to paint also the tall blue there you go this one just paint the tall blue here That you can see the uh, deep water, and there you are. I think that that one is very nice. This one is the reflection of the sky, and this one is our sky. So, the next thing to do here, we're going to create here uh, the scattering clouds. So, what I'm going to do here, just I'm going to use this number 12 flower brush. I'm going to paint I'm going to paint directly the white color. There you go. I'm going to create here the instant clouds. There you are. The scattering clouds there. I'm going to create here a very basic clouds. Don't worry about the shapes of these clouds because there are lots of as you see in the sky you can see a different types of clouds and there you go some scattering here more scattering clouds there you go the basic basic clouds you can improve these clouds improve you can easily improve these clouds I know you can do this you have lots of time for this for me I'm going to give you a guide there you go and there you are this is my basic basic clouds here and there you are at this at this area just paint white color there you are just paint directly the white color now we have here the instant clouds, very very easy clouds. There, just a uh, very top portion. I'm going to create some clouds also. There you are. That's a very good looking sky. I'm going to mix the color this crimson red and this cobalt blue. I'm going to mix this crimson red and the cobalt blue. The crimson red and cobalt blue I'll just mix this color and just add this hooker green to create this kind of color. I'm going to create here the uh, 
the mountain there you are I'm going to create here the mountain there you go this one is the uh, at the uh, bottom of this mountain and there you are that's nice cobalt blue and the uh, crimson red it's paint here I'm going to paint directly here. There you are. Cobalt blue and the crimson red. Just paint directly here. just there just paint directly this color this is our uh, base color this mountain there you go there you are there that's good looking now This is the base color of this mountain. So we're going to detail this later. This part here, uh, I'm going to lighten this part because uh, I'm going to make this uh, little uh, and yeah, add or add some fogs or mist here. So I'm going to paint with that one in the white color directly. Paint directly here the white color. There you go. As you see, it's uh, easily blend the color because our is paint more white. And there you are. Now we create here the fog's effect. And there you go. There you are there. That's nice, very nice. That one, just paint more white here. We're going to lighten this one as much as possible. There you go. And there you are. That's nice. Then the next thing to do here, I think we're going to be a little dark here, dark color. So I'm going to add black color to this color that we mixed earlier. The cobalt blue and the red color. I'm going to add now the black color because I'm going to a little dark. Maybe we're going to add more black color. This color and we're going to add some black here. Just observe my brass strokes here. And there you go. This, these are my trees here. And this mountain. There 
There you are. Add some dark color. There you are there. That's a very nice gill looking mountain. We're going to darken this part because uh, we're going to make this the shading part of this mountain. There you are. Let's get looking at trees there. Just observe my brushstrokes and the uh, brush position. This is very easy. Very easy. Just makes the, again the three color the black, the blue, and the red color. We need to add some smaller trees at the top of this mountain. There you go. That's nice mountain now. And that one. This one also. We're going to add some black color. The blue and the black color. Just mix this color. And just add some dark portion to this part. Just there. Like so, there. There you are. I'm going to uh, paint more white here. Just paint more white. I'm going to make this more light color. And there you go. Just blend this color here. I'm going to paint here the white color. And there you are. That's nice. I'm going to get this round brush. For that, I'm going to mix this color. The uh, Rushina, Rushina, and the orange color, the cadmium orange. Just mix these two colors and just add white to this color. That kind of uh, just observe what how did I uh, combine the colors? Then just paint here for my trees to this part. Need to add some trees to this part here. Just continue adding this color. These are my trees here. The color of my trees to this area. Just observe my brush strokes. 
just add more white color and just paint here directly these are the highlights of my three streets part add more white and the yellow color white and the yellow color I'm going to paint here at the very very top of this mountain here just observe what I did here these are the highlights of my trees to this area and also this one this one there, here that part let's add more white to this color and just paint here just observe what I did to my mountain how do I put the highlight or I paint this highlight color and this one also here that one that's very nice good looking part there the uh, cobalt blue just add some dark color black and cobalt blue just mix these two colors I'm going to add some shading part these trees here the shading area of these trees here there you are that's a very nice part there add some dark color the black and the blue color just mix these two color for my shading to this part I'm still using my round brush you can use bigger uh, round brush if your canvas a little uh, a little bigger than this When you use the brush while uh, watching the t tutorial, uh, you can make a more bigger brushes. If you're, you can use more bigger brushes. If your canvas is big than this canvas, using my 10 inches by 12 inches a uh, canvas. So yours, you can. Um, use a little bigger than this or more bigger than this so that you can create a more detailed there you are so I'm going to mix the color is white and also the Rushina color there you are I'm going to paint also here for more highlight these trees there you are that's nice there you go 
going to this part and there you are then the black again the black and the blue color it should be more black color than the blue so that will, we will create here more dark color of the trees here more shading there you are and also this one and there that one that's a very nice mountain now there you are and there you go I'm going to add also the this color the yellow color I'm going to add some yellow color for some trees here some color of my trees already highlighted some trees here just select the area here I will not use this more yellow color just select some area there you are there that's very nice then the hooker green and the blue color just mix these two color the hooker green and the blue color the cobalt blue hooker green and blue color just mix these two color and just paint also here for some uh, the color trees here the lower part there you are that's very gay looking part there and also here that's very good looking now You hook a green and blue color. This paint, just select some area for this color. Nice color. And then I'm going to add also the white to this color that I mixed earlier, the blue. The blue and this uh, hooker green, and just paint here. If we're going to add more white, even more nicer here. Just observe my brush strokes here. These are my trees here. And there you are.
that one that's very good looking now let's add more white to this color to create more lighter or more highlight color effects here we need more highlight here that's very good looking now and some black color and the hooker green I'm going to mix these two color the black and the hooker green just mix these two color and just paint here for the uh, you know the uh, shooting part of these trees and the lower part here because this area is not affected by the light so we're going to add some uh, darker shooting just mix this black and the hooker green to create the dark color shading here for the shading and there you go that's nice very nice part very gill looking just observe what I did here I know you can do this you have lots of time for this you just just make more detail for this part that's good looking now I'm going to paint here the more uh, white color at this part just blend this white color here we're going to uh, we're about to create here the the misty fogs fogs effect to this part there just observe here what I did to my uh, area here what I did to this brass there going up a little there so that you can blend the uh, fogs effect there and there you are that's very nice area now and there you are there then we're going to add some you know some soil here using this color the lighter rushina we're going to add some lighter rushina here for the soil There you go. And there you are there. That's good looking. How about the shading? I'm going to use this Rushina and a little black color. Just mix this two color and add orange. I need to add some shading in this part for my soil here. Then I think here it's already almost dry, so we're going to add more white here. We're going to make this more white or more lighter as pa as much as possible. These are fogs effects here, so we're going to make that more lighter color. The clouds. There you are. there then just a little blend here just a little blend as you see it's very good looking now just observe my brush strokes it's like making cross or X there so that you can uh, 
make this uh, part smooth so you just blend this correctly there you go and there you are I'm going to mix the color of this yellow and the white color to make the lighter yellow there you go and just add here for the lighter trees There, very nice. Oh, one. That's good looking now. Then just a little blend to this part. Then the next thing to do here, we're going to create here the uh, the soil. Just mix the color, this ruchin and the white. Ruchin and the white, and add also the cadmium orange. I'm going to create here the lawn area. There you are. This is my lawn area here. There you are there. Then some I'm going to mix the color, this white and this dark color. Because we're going to create here very very far or the misty tree here. Some uh, faded trees here. There you go. We're about to add some feeding trees to this area. Just observe my brass strokes. And there you go. You have a feeded trees here. Just add also the hooker green and the black color, just mix this one here. You have lots of time for this, you can make this more detailed. And there you go. More fitted trees to this area. Just a little odd black color for some shading to these trees. Just observe my brass strokes there. The black and the hooker green just mix this two color. You can easily blend this color also. And there you are. That one. That's nice, very nice part. And there you are. Just to make this feed, I'm going to fade. I'm going to uh, I'm going to make this fade a very bottom. I'm going to use this white color, and just little by little, just just blend this one here. Just little by little going up 
just very very careful with this and there you are as you see it look like a maze misty uh, fogs here at this area this part also I'm going to use dark color I'm going to mix the color of this black and the cadmium orange to create more black color here these are our these are our uh, trees here and there you are I'm going to make more dark color trees here lots of dark color there and there you are then the cadmium orange and the yellow I'm going to mix these two colors there you go just add here for some color the trees here there you go and there you are that's very good looking trees now and there you go there you are there that's good looking trees to, the, to that part then after that we're going to mix the color this yellow and the uh, white color I'm going to make this a little uh, light or the highlight of these trees just add white to this yellow there you are just add some light color and there you go then the uh, orange and also the black color Let's add some shading part Shading the trees. And there you are there. That's good looking trees. That part. Very good looking now. going to darken this area here that one I'm going to dark this part some dark color of the trees here the black and the cadmium orange just mix these two colors again to make this more you can make this more nicer trees here you have lots of time for this so you can make that one so we're going to add some yellow also and there you go There you are there. That's good looking now. A 
that one just observe what I did here so that you can follow this one pallet knife I just a little down here so Rushina and this yellow color let's add white I'm going to use my palette so that I can create this kind of look like a marble type and there you go this is my soil here to this part there you are that's nice now we have very nice soil there or the sand to that part so we're going to add also the the uh, you know the uh, shading part of that some shading the black and the uh, cadmium orange let's add some shading here just a little shading oops just a little shading there little shading to this area there you go using this palette knife there for the uh, the area that are not affected by the light because of this the uh, the trees there then some light color this area some light color here you go there you are then some highlight color or the uh, trunk there The trunk of these trees there. Very nice. Some darker trunks. There. That's nice. We're going to create more. Uh, trees here it's like forest dark color dark color here for the shade in this part because of the uh, shadow of these trees here and there you are that's nice in more lighter color at this area and that one let's continue here we're going to uh, create here the shading the shading this mountain or the sh reflection this trees to the water that's uh, very very easy so the blue the blue and the uh, black color uh, we're going to create here a little you know Just a little curve here, there you go. It's mounting in this area. 
And there you are. This one. And just color this one. This is the reflection of our uh, subject to the water, the mountain, and this, this mountain. Just paint here. And there you are. We're going to add some lighter color. The Rushina, I'm going to mix the Rushina and the white color. Just paint here. There you go. Some lighter color here. Just just do like that here. These are our reflection to the water. use this uh, just mix the black and blue there you go then the black the, the uh, hooker green and the uh, black color Paint here. And there you go. This one here. That one. And there you are. Then the uh, you know the lighter color. We need to add some lighter color here. Then some yellow color. This color here. This one. That one also here. This tree, little tree here. That's nice, very nice. Then the hooker green. Just mix the hooker green and the white. Just white. And the hooker green, just add a little blue. Just add white. There you go. This kind of color. We're going to add some greenish color here for the reflection. There you go. And there you are. That's nice. Then, I'll touch this on a dry brush. Just, I'm using my one and a half flat brush. Just touch here a little. There, as you see, very nice. I think this one here. I'm going to add my brush with this color, dark color. Just paint here because it's. There you go. This one also here. The, uh, this one, the, I'm going to mix the color, this cadmium orange and the black color. 
I'm going to paint here. There you go. And this the reflection of this part. Some Rushina color. Just mix this orange and Rushina. There. Then the yellow color. That one. Just observe my brush strokes here. This uh, line color. You see this, this kind of color. More trunks. The effects or the uh, the reflection of the trunks to the water. There you go. And there you are. We're going to touch with this dry brush again. Just a little touch. And there you go. Or just mix the color of this cobalt blue and the white color. Cobalt blue and the white color. Just mix these two colors. We're going to add some the weave effects to the water let's mix this cobalt blue and the white and there you go just add some weave effects here There, as you see there, it's very, very good looking now. Now, we added some weave effects. There you go. You can make this more nicer. You have lots of time for this, so you can make this more nicer. You can create here more weaves effect. There you go. This is only the guide for you. You can make this more, more detailed weaves here. Then how about this one? We're going to uh, add some misty uh, clouds or fogs there using this white color. Let's add some misty fogs here. Or the fog's effect. Just mix this white and the blue color to create the sky blue color. It should be more white. And there you go. Let's add some fog's effects. 
to the water. Just blend this one. Just be careful while when you blend this color. Just going down here. And so that you can create here a very nice effects here. And uh, let's continue here adding some effects. There. That's very nice effects there. And there you are. That's nice. Very nice. Now we have very nice reflection here. How about we're going to add some We're going to add we're about to, we're going to mix the color this the hooker green and the black color. I'm going to add here a near tree. There, I'm going to add here a new, very near tree. There we go. The, the hooker green and the black color. I'm going to add here a very near, near tree. It should be dark because we are about this area is not affected by the lights coming from the sun so and there you are and some bronzes also There, that's very nice. If you can make this more, you can make this more nicer tree if you want. And this one also. Just we're going to add here a yeah, friend of this tree. There you are. There you go. That's nice. Then just add some bronzes also. More thinner bronzes here you can that's more nicer more nicer to uh, make this tree there you are I'm going to create here a thin line bronzes if you can make this more thinner it just that's very nice there I cannot make this more night 
more thin because you have very limited time for this so you can make this more nicer just make this just create this painting uh, more time or there's only the guide so you can make more nicer with this I'm going to create here more I know more trees or more lines more thinner lines for this area there you go as much as possible you can create here more line more thin lines that's, that's good it's very nice I'm using my line brush here so yours I know you can do this I know you can do this guys because this is very basic just create more thin lines I'll make more thin lines here you can add more water to your brush so that you can easily create or add more or thin lines here oops there you go There you are. I need to add more water to this brush so that it can create here more, more, more thin lines. then this one also here I think we're going to add some more thin lines can do this very this is very not so uh, difficult this is very easy there you go just create more thin lines here that's good and very nice I like to uh, see your painting there you go branches there more twigs then we're going to mix the color of this orange and orange and yellow we're going to create here some leaves and there you go Going down there. There you are. Let's add some lighter color of the leaves here. only the sample this you can make this more uh, effects effects the lid more nicer more 
accurate leaves can do that that's very nice also and there you go this one also here some yellow color some lighter leaves oops it's too much just observe here and you can do this i know you can because you're an artist you can do this There you go. And there you are. Then the dark color, the Rushina, uh, the uh, hooker green, just add a little uh, black, just small amount of black. We're going to add some dark leaves here. dark leaves because we're at the uh, back portion of the highlight of these trees there you are add some black color There you go. And there you are. How about this one? That's nice. Very nice. Part of the trees here. we're almost done with this painting we have very very nice painting here guys I hope you like this painting it's a very basic painting here and then you can do this or just make this more detailed and more nicer there's only the guide for you so you can make this more nicer There you are. That's nice. Oops. We're going to darken this part here. How about, how about we're going to add more leaves here? We're almost there. There you go. And there you are. That's very nice. How about we're going to add some highlight using this lighter Rushina. I'm going to add some highlight of this tr trunk. Just a little highlights there. There you go. Just a little highlights there for this trunk. And this one also here. Just add some a little highlight. Can make this more
there you are. That one. That's good looking now. That's very, very good looking now. I know you can do this. This is very, very easy. Very easy. Very basic painting here guys and there more highlight here there you are that one see some a little detail at the back portion more white there just a very small amount there I think we're done this painting we have a very very nice painting here I hope you'll like this painting guys, it's a very very easy painting or very basic painting guys.